The quaint mountainside city of Prescott lies within the heart of Arizona and is a unique blend of history, culture, and natural beauty. This captivating destination features the largest ponderosa pine forest in the world and endless options for outdoor recreation. Prescott, Arizona was founded in 1864 at the behest of Congress and President Abraham Lincoln in an effort to secure the area's mineral riches for the Union forces during the Civil War. The town was named for historian William Hickling Prescott by the settlers. In 1865, Prescott carved a unique place among early communities in Arizona because it was reportedly built exclusively of wood and was inhabited almost entirely by Americans as a result of the nation's westward expansion. On Saturday night, July 14, 1900, fire swept through downtown Prescott with uncontrollable fury, almost totally destroying the business district of the small mining town. The city eventually recovered from the devastating fire and is now home to a beautiful courthouse, downtown shopping centers, restaurants, and the historic Whiskey Row. Whiskey Row is full of some of Prescott's oldest history. This street is named Whiskey Row because of the large number of saloons in one place. At one point, the block hosted a total of 40 saloons. This high number of saloons was primarily due to the gold rush culture that drew all kinds of settlers, cowboys, gamblers, and even outlaws to the town. Mining towns were no stranger to shootouts and enjoying the bar atmosphere after a long day of looking for gold, and Prescott is not any different. Present day Prescott celebrates the history of Whiskey Row with annual shootout events on this very block. Nowadays, this street is known for its art galleries, candy shops, and of course, its famous saloons. One stroll around this particular block would show you how full of life and history this town actually is. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support all of my travels. Alright guys, we are in downtown Prescott. Beautiful historic city here. We're gonna go grab some uh, lunch at one of these local restaurants. Alright guys, we're going to stop here at Gurley Street Grill. We'll see you guys after lunch. Oh look, it's in the National Historic Places too. Alright guys, we just had a delicious lunch at Gurley Street Grill in Prescott, Arizona. I'm gonna put some pictures on the screen of what we had. And- Huge portions. Yeah, huge portions. We had fish and chips and a barbecue uh, pulled pork sa sandwich. And now we're gonna go here to Whiskers Bar Barkery and look for uh, something for my dog, Dexter. Get him a little treat. And then we're gonna go walk the town and check in to our Spring Hill Suites by Marriott in Prescott. And hopefully I'll take to the skies later and film downtown. It's absolutely incredible here. Has a nice old western feel. So stay tuned. guys this is the courthouse in downtown Prescott
107. Yavapai County Fallen Officer Memorial dedicated to all officers that have lost, lost their lives on duty. Really nice. Got a nice gazebo here. Just a pretty town. Reminds me of Jackson, Wyoming a little bit. All right, guys, we're in this uh, gift shop here. And look at all the beautiful mugs and stuff that they have. Really gorgeous stuff. They're known for their courthouse here. Oh, this one is nice too. Look at that. It's big. I like that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that one too. So these are the two I'm gonna get, guys. And in Arizona, Christmas capital. That's what uh, Prescott's known for. It's their Christmas displays and everything. Really amazing stuff though. All kind of stuff. Yeah, here's all the uh, Christmas ornaments they have, guys. Here's the one my dad found. That is cool. I may get that. I didn't even get that. They have little uh, cactus ornaments and stuff <laughs> for Christmas. Greetings everyone from Prescott, Arizona. We are currently staying at Spring Hill Suites by Marriott. And I have to say, I stayed in one of these hotels in Idaho, and this room is just as beautiful, if not more beautiful and spacious than the one I stayed at in Idaho. Um, actually, Idaho Falls is where I stayed. So yeah, guys, look at the room. Really, really spacious. As you guys can see, there's a desk with a, a bunch of lamps as well as a seating area, some nice pictures in the front. And then over here, of course, when you start, um, there's the microwave, the ice box, and uh, all that stuff. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Got the microwave. Down here we got a little sink area as well as the fridge, which is nice. And then over here, oh, that's just empty. Okay. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah, there's a little desk area over here. Beautiful. This is a very, very nice town. And you can see there's all the charging ports on everything here. We also got a nice uh, flat screen TV, which is adjustable. And multiple big drawers too for storage. Like four drawers and then a lower bay over there. And this is a two queen suite by the way too. So you can see how big the beds are. Nice and spacious. As well as some more drawers down here. The Holy Bible, we'll be reading that later. And then over here, you can also adjust the uh, lighting for everything, which is really cool. All right, guys. And then over here, this, uh, I'm actually not sure what this is. 
What's this? Oh, that's where the ironing board and everything is in that closet. And then what's over here? Oh, okay, sweet. So there's one of the uh, luggage racks that you guys could have. And over here, guys, let's go take a look at the bathroom. They have the same similar design of a mirror, the vanity. Look at that. Really modern design. <laughs> you guys can see how much sun I got on my face from yesterday. <laughs> Look at that. Very clean. Now let's go take a look at the uh, shower and bathroom area. Very spacious, which is a good thing. They got all the towels up here in this little unit. And here's a shower too. Pretty contemporary. And we got Alice and Company Botanicals uh, conditioner and soap. In case you guys are wondering. All right, so that's going to do it um, for our brief room tour here at the Spring Hill Suites Prescott. And I'm also going to be showcasing, uh, they have a pool here. It's a saltwater pool. It's heated and indoors. So we're going to go enjoy that later on, as well as uh, a jacuzzi too, which is really cool. <laughs> so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this uh, brief little room tour here. And we're going to go and probably get some dinner later. I'm going to fly the drone in town as well. Um, earlier, I flew at Watson Lake, which was absolutely incredible, around the Granite Dells. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you for watching this brief room tour. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for all the latest travel content. Here's the main lobby, guys, and breakfast area. Oh, look at this, guys. Beautiful pool area. They have a beautiful uh, hot tub as well, which we're gonna go check out later. Jesus, that's nice. I love the tile work too. Beautiful pool. Wow. So yeah, guys, this is the pool, and they also have uh, an outdoor patio section here. You guys can see. The window's a little uh, dirty, but that's okay. Nice, very nice section. So we're gonna go and enjoy ourselves now. I just wanna get a full uh, 360 view of this pool. I love it. All right guys, also there is a very nice exercise room here. You guys could see. <clears throat> have a nice little uh, sanitizing station, a bunch of treadmills and workout machines. This is what it looks like. There's a lot here that uh, lot to do in this town. You could also fill up your water bottles, which is good, because we definitely need to do that. So, yeah, guys, this is this is what it looks like here. They have everything you need in a vacation hotel here. All right, let's go hit the town. All right, guys, time to hit the town. Here's an outside view of the Spring Hill Suites. Really nice hotel. So now we're walking to Whiskey Row, which is a famous street here in Prescott. We're gonna go do some exploring. Probably down this way.
It's a hat shop. Some jewelry. It is cool. Matt Saloon. Nice western look. I love neon too. That's cool. Some other stuff they have. Here's a, here's a really cool place, guys. Gallery of Fine Art. I wish it was open. Most of the stuff closes here at like 4 or 5 o'clock. That's nice. Look at that piece in the back, that tree. Yeah, that's gorgeous. There's a plate coming up here to the middle. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at that donkey. The teeth. There's a roadrunner. It's a bird and a wild E. Coyote <laughs> to the left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the dynamite detonator. That's cool. That's from, that's from Looney Tunes. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool to actually have that. 160. It's pretty cool. Look at those knives. Those are nice. They got some cool stuff in here, man. Hey, look at this knife. Look at the uh, the work on the blade. Oh man, yeah. The detail, 335. Whoa. Oh, look at that one with the curved. It's called a snake dagger. That's pretty sweet. We used to have stuff like that for ninja stuff. Do you remember that gladiator from uh, yeah. the movie Gladiator when he was in the yep. arena? That's sweet. They have some really nice stuff here. Oh my gosh, look at that one over there. The Bowie knife. Some really nice jewelry. Arizona petrified wood. All right guys, here's another place called Van Gogh's Ear. <laughs> Didn't it get cut off or something? Yeah. Look at that. Really nice artwork. Representing the finest local art. Love those things that hang. Look at that that picture of it though. That's nice. Gorgeous. That's cool. It's a carousel horse. Oh, I used to make stuff so well. What's that? Here's another nice place, guys. Colt Brill. Nice barbecue place. 